This is Twit. Wait until do you see the new naming system AMD is going to use on their 2023 no. and future mobile no. chipsets? No. What are they going to so, call them? I'm, so, I'm actually okay, wait, already before, confused by AMD's uh, number. Yes. Oh, it and gets worse. I, do you think, I was going to say, do you think it's better? It's worse. It's, it's not even I better. I can't say. Okay, so better is, <laughs> is a strong word. I will say the, the way they described this was anyone, and they meant like non-enthusiasts, could look at these right. numbers and schemes and understand immediately what this meant. I said, okay. No. All right. That sounds good. No. No, 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 no. So the issue is, <laughs> first of all, AMD is doing great. So AMD, I, I don't remember, I didn't write this in my article. I, I want to say something like they've sold 59% more Ryzen processors mm -hmm. this year than they did the previous year, something like that. Like they're going gangbusters. They are, just like anyone else who has experienced this kind of success, is moving into new product segments, right? So like Qualcomm is creating chipsets for VR headsets now, for wearables, for all these things that are not smartphones, right? Mm -hmm. AMD is making chipsets for different types of PCs, right? So you have like ultra-efficient uh, PCs, you have like the, the mainstream PCs, you have high-performance PCs, and then you have really high-performance PCs that are aimed at creators and game, you know, gaming PCs, that kind of thing. The problem is they have like, um, oh God, they have so many product families. So if you're familiar with Intel, which is a little more common, you know they have Core i3, Core i5, i7, and i9, although those are actually pretty rare. Um, they, AMD has Athlon, Silver and Gold, which are kind of like their Pentium now, I guess. And then they have Ryzen 3, 5, 7, and 9, just like Intel has with the Core chipsets, right? Okay. They, but they also have like Zen and Zen Plus architectures. Yeah, yeah. There are and then literally Threadripper. Se seven of them. <laughs> yep, there's seven different mm -hmm. architectures. Um, they have upper and lower models within segments. So they have like three and three plus. They have one and one. You know, mm -hmm. it's crazy. And then they have the form factor TDP things, right? So with Intel, I I've been talking about this recently, where U series is 15 watt, P series is 28 watt, H series is 56 watt. Um, of course, the AMT. They have 9 watt, 15 to 28 watt, 15 to 28 watt ultra. They have 35 plus watts and they have 55 plus watts. And so uh, they all have different brands. It's like ECU, H5, HX. Uh, you know, so. Oh my God. You, you, you tack all this stuff together and you have a product, right? So right. Uh, this is imaginary. This is a future product that doesn't exist. But the example they use is they have a Ryzen 5 7640U. So the Ryzen 5, the 5, is where it sits in the segment, right? So it's a, a 5 series. So it's like a Core i5 equivalent, we'll call it. <laughs> um, 7 is generation. They call it portfolio model year, but it's generation. So Intel is on 12th gen this year. They're about to transition to 13th gen. So the 7, the first number, means it's a 2023 chipset. It hasn't come out yet, but they're, they're imagining it. Market segment, 6. <sighs> means it's the upper level of the oh. fives because they have to split the fives into two. So there's That's two threes, crazy. two fives, two sevens, and two nines. Well, actually, t it doesn't matter. Roughly. With the five, there are two fives. It's the upper level of the five. So there's the X5XX and the X6XX. This is an X6. Six series. All right. So architecture, Zen 4. At least that's you know, four is Zen 4. Uh, zero is the lower model segment, <laughs> lower model within the segment. If it said five, I don't know why it's zero and five, but if there was a five instead of a zero, it would be the upper model within the segment. And then U tells you where it sits in the TDP rating. So it's right in the middle. It could be a 15 to 28 watt part or what they call a premium ultra thin chip. So there you go. It's, now the um, hysterical thing is you would think Paul was making up something intentionally obtuse and obscure. Right. This is the example yeah. provided yeah, yeah. by AMD. Yep. Yeah, and, and I read it off of a chart and if you're listening to this in your headsets, if you haven't given up on us by now, I don't know what you're doing. I, that would make no sense to anybody. But the product would be the Ryzen 5 7640U. Right? You need so a, tell, uh, something on the wall to decipher this. You do. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I will say I don't understand Intel's naming conventions as deeply as this either. So I couldn't. Well, actually, I just bring something up. So, for example, like I can tell, obviously, when you look at it, you have an Intel Core i5 dash, you know, it's a Core i5, right? So that that helps right there. Um, the problem is, depending on where you are after that, you could you get lost in the mix. I don't know all of the things for the 12th gen, but this particular computer is an i7, 1260p. Now, I know the P means the P series, it's 28 watt part, very common these days, now all of a sudden, right, in laptops. 
Um, but the 1260-bit, I don't know. There are other i7s probably, in, in the, uh, not just U's and H's, but probably within P it's possible. There are or could be others. And then next to it, you also get like a um, uh, clock speed writing, right? So this is a 2.1 gigahertz part. Um, at least there's less numbers. I mean, I know, I lo know, looking at it, I know it's an i7. Okay, easy. 12th gen, got that. Yeah. P series, good. I know it's 28 watts. But as far as the other numbers, this is not a, this is is not it, a great is example. Is it because we deal with Intel more, and so we're just kind of more familiar with this? Yes, but it is. Yes. That, yeah. No, that's fair. Yep, it is. This is crazy. But, I mean, I, I almost feel like I should write a program to decipher these. <laughs> the funny, well, yeah, and the way they describe it is like, oh, no, no, this is, um, this is going to make decoding this easy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you need a... It's like in my in my living room we have two giant posters. Well, they're actually on cloth fabric, but they're posters of all of the types of wine and all of the types of food and how they cross reference each other. Like like you know this wine's good with this food, that kind of thing. This is like that. <laughs> you know, it's like I, I okay. I want to buy an ultra book. I don't care if it has integrated graphics. I want the best possible battery life. You know, it's like you need a. You know, uh, and well, seven for next year. Yeah, six four zero e I'll nine tell you, watt. I'll right? tell you why this or is C. good. You could just name it Pentium or Ultium or something, right. but in mm -hmm. the name, everything you need to know about this chip is in the name. Admittedly, yeah. it's seventy six forty U, but this is like, it's in um, the name. Like it's all a, there. A BMW model number, right? You like? I have a. I have an X Drive. Four, I don't even know what the numbers are anymore. 435i X, <laughs> you know, and it's like, okay, is it a coupe? Is right. it a four but door if you, sedan? If you were a f aficionado, you, know, it, you would know. And right, I guess that's the that's the, the 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 merit in this is at least the name tells you what you need to know. It's not a brand. If you name. are an AMD nerd, you're gonna love this. And now you and your other AMD nerd friends can have conversations <laughs> that make sense to nobody. So good luck with that. But the idea that this is supposed to be for normal people is just They ridiculous. literally said that, that this I would know. make it easier for normal. And I was like, yeah. yeah, I don't I don't I don't think so. I can't I, I, had, I feel like I feel like most normal people are like me. When you're looking for a new laptop, you mm -hmm. don't even go by the name of the chip because a lot of times the name of the chip right. is meant to obscure what you're getting. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, normal people don't, uh, are not saying chip names or anything No, like that. Well, this Nobody's is actually like, why. Is this a Pentium Gold you say, thing? Yeah, is I want an HP Elite. Blah, blah, you know? So yeah. e right. even in, Intel's product line is arguably simpler. I could be wrong about that, but I, I kind of think it's simpler. Mm -hmm. At least the PCs you'd go to see at Best Buy. What, but, and yet, like I said on a couple of shows ago there, they have. They used to have. You, you go, if you got a laptop, you were getting a U series something. You're going to get a Core i5 probably or a Core i7, and that was kind of the end of the conversation. It was going to be a U series. All of a sudden, with the 12th gen, I'm seeing more P series than yeah. anything. This is a thing that did not exist eight months ago or six months ago, and I'm seeing a lot of H series, which is high performance, often tied to uh, dedicated graphics. Um, I'm seeing way more of that this year than I saw in previous years. So. U series, which used to be the mainstream choice, the one you didn't have to think about, it was just the normal chip, mm. is actually much less common now than ever before. And P series, which didn't exist ever before, is suddenly the most common thing in the world. And honestly, I guess it get, you know better performance. Maybe this new architecture gets worse performance. You know, mm. apples to apples, and this is why they had to do that. You know, amp up the TDP. But mm. it also, when you do that, you get worse battery life. You know, and so there's a sacrifice there, and I, this is absolutely something that normal people don't understand. This is like, I, I'm not a hardware guy; I don't even understand it. I, I, I normal people yeah. will absolutely not Forget understand it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. But then, for normal people, they put words on the box, and that's yeah all that matters. Well, really yeah, words. right. I mean, hopefully, yeah. I mean, I don't know how PC makers communicate this. Like PC or um, HP has like an NV line that they are targeting creators. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. And they have H series processors. Um, dedicated graphics are optional. All right. You know that makes sense. But like I said, like the mainstream stuff, think pads or you know yogas, whatever they are. That if you look at like a year ago, like ninety percent of that basically, or eighty five percent was U series. This year, it's like a jumble of choices. I've even seen PCs yeah. come with a choice of U or P series. Wow. <laughs> what? But you, like, you know, you asked me, are you? Do you have an H processor or a U processor? Mm -hmm. 
And I, you know, I know it's an H because I, you know, looked, but I don't know what that means. You know what it means Mm -hmm. because that's your job. But I just bought, you know, it's a 12th gen. Good. And then, it, yeah, then I had decided I five better or I seven, right? So well, if you're going to render a video, if you're going to work in Photoshop, if you're if it has dedicated graphics, you could even play games on it. Yeah, um, yeah. There are you can make these arguments. You know, if you're in a heavy Excel user, that would probably make a difference. Honestly, doesn't though? For, I mean, there are other things that make a difference too, like how much RAM there is. People understand that. Oh my God, yes. I would rather have 16 gigs of RAM. Yeah, on that a makes more of a difference than yeah. 8 gigs on a PC there you go. every day. Yeah. Every day. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah. No, this is complicated. I feel like this shouldn't be so complicated. You know, when you buy a car, I, depending on like if you want a BMW, you probably have like multiple engine choices. But honestly, having like eight or nine men- menu cho- or uh, <laughs> menu uh, engine choices on a car is <laughs> stupid. Like that would just yeah. people would just walk away confused by that. Well, I want this engine. Okay, I know exactly the engine I want. Oh, did you want four wheel drive? Oh no no no. You need to get one of the other engines. Like, what? Okay, hold on a second. And then you get into those conversations where there's these things that rely on other things in the car, and that's what happens to. Here's computers. what you need. And AMD apparently handed these out when they did this announcement. Oh, that is beautiful. That is. It's beautiful. a it's a wheel, there and you, you spin the wheel. A literal decoder <laughs> wheel. It's a decoder wheel. Yep. <laughs> Tell you what you're getting. <laughs> Actually, that's quite well, clever. guys. Yeah, that is. Yeah, no, that is clever. I, Get used to this naming convention because they've mapped this out at least five years and they're like, this thing scales, this is what we're using. It's engineers. Remember, these are engineers. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. That's why that thing looks like a slide rule. <laughs> it does. It looks like a circular <laughs> slide rule. That's a, there's a reference a lot of people won't get. Sorry, I'm old. Yeah. Circular slide rule. <laughs>